Shalom, giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechahakurash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. I wanted to do a quick video in response to this video done by the brother Zion, all right, the head of the GMS Great Waters Camp, all right. His YouTube page is Zion Yasha'ala. All right, make sure you subscribe, all right, to the brother's page so that you can be edified. The name of the video is a 501c3 muzzles you from teaching the 100% truth, okay, a contract that hinders you, all right, and in this video, the brother basically goes into how that when you have a 501c3, all right, you are under a contract and you must abide by particular rules, all right, and, you know, the closer we get to the very end, all right, you can clearly see that the fact that these particular, you know, men have 501c3, that there's particular things that they can't warn about, all right? Now, we are to be watchmen, all right? We are to, you know, warn, you know, Israel of the sword, you know, when the sword is coming, you know, we are to tell them the sword is coming, all right? When the enemy is working wickedness and, and, and you know, trying to take advantage of Israel, you know, the prophets should be on the forefront warning Israel so that, all right, they can uh, be without excuse. You know, as the scripture say in Ezekiel 33, okay, when these things come to pass that the prophet warned of, you know, then will they know that a prophet had been amongst them, all right? But if you don't warn, as the scriptures say, then there's blood on your hands, all right? And you can clearly see that a lot of Israelites are being led ast astray. All right. By the fact that their teachers are teaching them, you know, not only to bow to the image of Baal and that it's OK for us to go along with all of their plans and take jabs and do, you know, the Lord doesn't care if you put, you know, these devices inside of your body and this and that or whatever it may be. All right. They're, they're, and they're also teaching you that there's not going to be any Jacob's trouble. You know, one school, ISUPK said Jacob's trouble is gay, all right? Another IS, uh, IUIC teaches that there isn't going to be any Jacob's trouble, telling you Israelites that you will not undergo any persecution for your belief, all right? You're not going to have to give up anything. Basically, you are going to be comfortable, all right? And you won't be tempted. You're not preparing your minds for the reality of what's getting ready to happen, all right, with us, the believers, all right, now, it is written that the Lord is going to lift up a standard, but it's also written that we're going to have to go through the hour of temptation, all right, as the scriptures say, uh, there's a wide, you know, field, all right, but to get to that wide field, there's a straight and narrow path that you must go through, here it is, the servant is no greater than his master, and our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, our sacrifice, he had to go through things. He had to be tempted. You know, he, he suffered. And here it is. You Israelites are here at the very end of your arch enemy's kingdom. And he has a plan and he continuously is bringing you up. All right. And the very men who acted as if they, you know, had your best interests and they were, they cared about Israel. Now they're not barking. Why is that? They're not barking because, first of all, they're dumb dogs. Second of all, they're under contract, all right? They have an alliance and a covenant with a whole nother power. They've linked, okay, the ministry, all right, unto Esau to where now they cannot bark. And in his video, the brother goes into, um, you know, the, the how it's a contract and how, you know, it hinders you. So watch that video. It's a very good video, all right? A 501c3 muzzles you from teaching. Now, what does the scripture say about the, 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 the ox? You should muzzle the ox, okay? Let's get that real quick. All right? It's, it's written three times, man. 
three times. All right, in the law, Deuteronomy 25 and 4, thou shalt not muzzle the ox. Now, what is a muzzle? Something to, to stop, you know, the, the mouth or to control, okay? When you muzzle the ox, the plow, the, the, the work doesn't get done. See that? Let's look up the word muzzle. As a matter of fact, let's get it here in 1 Corinthians 9. You know, here it is. You know, these men paraded themselves in the law. These pe these men paraded themselves and being these tough guys and to all the only to get all the way to the end and say, yeah, you can, you know, you you could take the jab. You, you know, the Lord don't care if you do this. And that ultimately likens them unto the harlot. Israel has compromised for too long. All right, it's time for Israel. To lean up on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, in 100% faith. Now, the word muzzle, okay, is femo to close the mouth with a muzzle, all right, metaphorically to stop the mouth, make speechless, to reduce to silence. And why is it that you believe, all right, that these men are silent on the very issue? And it's not just them. There's a lot of men who are silent on the prevalent issues. All right, they're silent about uh, 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 what Esau's doing. All right, and they're presenting to you their flesh or this, that. They, well, 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 are we supposed to be warning our people and giving them understanding? Okay, according to the scriptures, now it says to be kept in check, to be kept in check, and you guys are kept in check, and it's clear. It's clear as day. You were these tough guys, no cowards. All right, but in 2020, you're telling Israel to trust the very man who you said was the worst of the worst. We shouldn't trust him. He's decrepit. He's low. Now his top scientists, okay, are telling Israel, I have a plan for you. Now in the garden, the serpent told Eve, thou shalt not surely die, okay, and, and you will be upgraded, right? Freedom from the Lord and his, you know, his, his, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, ways. And look where it got you. You see? Now, at the very end, you're, you're being beguiled. You're being taught to be beguiled by the serpent all over again, man. And you guys are in check. Let's get this in the book. Of Sirach, the 20th chapter. All right. In the 10th verse, it says, There is a gift that shall not profit thee. Okay. There is a gift. Salakia. There is a gift that shall not profit thee, and there is a gift whom recompense is double. You see, and you're going to pay for that. You see, the church was never meant, the ministry was never meant to be linked with the government. All right, because once you link the ministry with the government, then you cannot preach the full gospel. Because the government and this world is anti-Messiah. Even if they allow you to say that you're Israelites, all right, they're going to keep you in check via their, their code, via their contracts. And the scriptures told us not to make no leagues with this man. You see, you're supposed to flee from the serpent. You're supposed to not trust him. But here it is, our people are trusting him. Look, look at look look at this whole Biden situation where you had, you know, which it was overblown, all right, but you had our people crying for Biden, right? Now he's in office and he's telling you straight up. You're going to have to wear a mask for 100 days and we're going to bring out 100 uh, million uh, uh, vaccine and inject you with it. You see, the, 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 the watchman should be crying against that. Real quick, let's get this real quick. In the book of Isaiah, the 56th chapter.
Isaiah 56 and 10. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. Let's look up this word, dumb dogs. Oh, well, let's read it in the NLT. For the leaders of my people, all right, the Lord's watchmen, his shepherds are blind and ignorant. Okay, they are like silent watchdogs. Now, if you have a watchdog, Okay, and, and, a, and a robber is coming in. You will want that dog to, to bark. Okay, they give no warning when danger comes. They love to lie around sleeping and dreaming. And here it is. These men are sleeping and dreaming, feeding you some goddamn lie, man. But what I wanted to do was look up that word dumb. They are all dumb. Now the word, the Hebrew word is alum to mute. You see, you niggas are on mute. You're silent. You're dumb. You're unable to speak. Why? Because you've made a covenant with death, man. And this has happened before. See, when you bring these type of things out, people act as if it's, it's, it's far-fetched. But the scriptures say that which is then is now. So we've had sellout leaders before, wicked men. Who said, let's make a covenant with the heathen. And you have it now. Alright. This is the most critical time for our people to lean and, and, and to attach to Yahweh Bashim and, 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 and take total trust away from this devil. And you're strengthening the hands of the evildoers. You're mute. Okay. It says, yea, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. All right. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, everyone for his gain. You see that? They're living on a high horse. Come ye, say they, I will fetch wine and we will fill ourselves with strong drink and tomorrow shall be at this day and much more abundant. And that's definitely you know the iuic we're going to be the biggest israelite school you know that we're going to have this we're going to have that all right there won't be any jacob's trouble you won't have to go under you know give up you there's no possible you know you're not going to have to give up anything so when israel is tempted with this with with, with maxine they're going to choose keeping the things of this world now what did the lord say he that Let's see, let's get it. Save it his life. Luke nine and twenty four. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. So you save yourself, all right, when you put off this world and put off sin for the, for the purpose of gaining the Lord. But when you're faithless, you try to save your life by doing things that the Heavenly Father clearly isn't happy with. And eventually you lose. That's why the scripture says here. Okay. In the book of Sirach, the, the 20th chapter, there is a gift that shall not profit thee. And there is a gift whose recompense is double. See, you took that gift, all right, in hopes of, you know, gaining worldly, all right? You even presented to Israel that the way to forward the ministry is to link to Esau's paperwork. You promoted that. You said in order to not be a grimy bum camp, okay, you link and sign this man's paperwork. And this is the devil. This is the man who, who, who you've been at war with since the womb. Okay? If he had it his way, you wouldn't be here 
Now you're going to tell Israel to trust him. Sirach 20 and 29. Presents and gifts blind the eyes of the wise and stop up his mouth that he cannot reprove. Presents and gifts. And that's what you men have taken. Okay. A lot of you are throwing up a lot of these, uh, uh, you know, the Vesic Vesica Pisces and all of these different weirdo things. Some of you are clear agents, plants, who was waiting for this moment so that you can spew your anti-Messiah doctrine, okay, and lead Israel to the slaughter, okay? It's a lot of you men out there. See, you've perverted the ways of judgment, okay, because you took a gift. See, as a matter of fact, Isaiah 57 goes into that, man. Sirach, I mean, <laughs> Isaiah 57 and 8, behind the closed doors and the posts have thou set up thy remembrance, and thou hast discovered thyself unto another than me. You've committed spiritual adultery against the Heavenly Father. And you're trying to teach Israel to do the same. That's why we're at the point where if you guys can't see it, hey man, good luck. For thou hast discovered thyself unto another than me and art gone up. And all right, thou hast enlarged thy bed. And made thee a covenant with them. Thou lovest their bed. Whereas thou sawest it. Alright. They're in their rest. So you say. In order for us to get some rest. Let's link to them. Let's make a covenant with them. And you deceive the minds of the simple. As GMS let reason just put up. See. You made a covenant with them. And you like their bed. And what do they do on their beds? What do the Edomites do on their beds? Because your beds represent your rest. This is not our rest because it is filthy and polluted. Micah 2 and, and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. Okay? When you're on your bed, you're in your rest. According to prophecy, Esau would have a rest. He would, he would have, you know, a, a point where he would win and be able to forward wickedness, man. And the scriptures clearly tell us as Israelites what spirit to be in. Okay, we would have to be as pilgrims. We would have to have the mind frame of not attaching ourselves to the things of this world. Because it would destroy us if we did. These things are written all throughout the scriptures, man. See? When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. So they have the power in the sight of the beast. To work wickedness, man. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. It's their rest. Alright? And these men, these men are... Some of these men have millions of dollars, man. Okay? Six, seven hundred thousand dollars, man. Sitting on a high horse. You see, but they can't warn. They're not truly warning you of what's happening. They have become like the enemy. They even throw out terms like conspiracy theorist. You see, so that they can, they, you you can automatically it can trigger something in your mind to say, oh, that's crazy. That they're, they're not saying nothing that I need to know. When that's the message. That your ass should be listening to. So that you can prepare yourself. And know what spirit to be in. As concerning. This devil's venom that he's going to try to inject in you man. See. The scriptures told you. <laughs> Set him not by thee. Watch the mischievous man man. Arise ye and depart spiritually, for this is not your rest. Because it's polluted, it shall destroy you even with the sore destruction. 
See that? And if you trust in Pharaoh, you will you will be pierced. If a man walking in the spirit of falsehood do lie, saying, I will prophesy unto thee of wine and of strong drink, he shall even be the prophet of this people. They'll have the most views. They'll have the most love on the comment boards. They'll, they'll, you know, but here it is. They're prophesying unto you of wine to make you drunk. As the scriptures say, you Israelites are drunken. But not with wine. Isaiah 29 and 9. Stay yourselves and wonder. Cry ye out. All right. And cry. They are drunken but not with wine. They stagger but not with strong drink. And here it is. We're in a time where this man is getting ready to go down. Isaiah 51 and 21, therefore hear now this, thou afflicted and not drunken, and drunken but not with wine. You're spiritually destroyed. And he wants to go further to cut you off from your power, man. He wants to possess you. Thus said the Lord God, and thy God that pleaded thy cause, behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling. In the even the dregs of the cup of my fury, and thou shalt drink it no more again. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, Bow down that we may go over, and thou hast laid thy body as the ground, as the street of them that went over. You have laid down, you have bowed your 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 head to this man, and the Lord is getting ready to take his ass down. Okay? You laid down and let them walk all over you long enough, man. Let me see. Something in the back of my head saying serpent. So I'm going to just type in serpent. And as I know, it's in the Apocrypha. Flee from sin as the serpent. Something like that. Oh, yeah. Sirach 12 and 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with the serpent or as such or as any such as come nigh to wild beast? And is not this man a beast? When you look up the very word beast. And the book of Revelation. beast we talk about the beast system right the greek word is therion right an animal a wild animal but the point metaphorically a brutal bestial man savage ferocious Okay, and his draconian laws are on its way on a level you Israelites have never warned, uh, known before, man. So we, as Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter say, Ezekiel 33 and 2, Son of man, speak unto the children of thy people and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, if when the watchman seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever hearkeneth, all right, hear at the sound of the trumpet, all right, because there's a particular trumpet that you would blow all right, for feast, all right, but there's a particular trumpet you will blow for war, for trouble. And you guys are blowing the trumpet of peace and mirth 
<laughs> hey, it's a sword up on the land. So we then make mirth. Ezekiel 21 and 10. And 9. Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, a sword, say a sword, a sword is sharpened. And who's the most high sword? On the left hand side, Esau, man. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbish that it may glitter. Shall we then make mirth? Shall we then be in a spirit of mirth and partying, BSing, and playing games? No. Ezekiel 33 and 4, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet, and you all heard it, but you know what? It was unpleasant to your ears. He said, I don't want to hear that song. I don't want to hear the new song. Play me prophesied the seats. So you, you, when you heard the sound of the trumpet, you wasn't in tune with the frequency and it, 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 it got on your nerves. It was bitter. That's all they talk about is the mark of the beast. That's all they talk about is that they, 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 they. And you've made a wide mouth against the prophets. You see? If he heard the sound of the trumpet and take it not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Okay, so you all aren't going to have any excuse he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning his blood shall be upon him but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul but if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet and the people be not warned if the sword come and take any person from among them he is taken away in his iniquity but his blood will I require at the watchman's hands. Son of man, I have set thee as a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word of my mouth and warn them. Did not Noah warn of the flood once he got understanding that it was coming? <laughs> Here's the point. Ezekiel 33 and 30. Also thou son of man, the children of thy people are still talking against thee by the walls, whispering, watching the videos, thumbing it down or, or, or murmuring and making fun and watching for air, you know, but really learning, whispering, murmuring. All right in front of their computer by the walls and the doors of their houses and they speak to one another every one his brother saying come I pray thee and hear what the word that cometh forth from the Lord so you'll watch the true prophets but then you'll mock them you, you don't want to come up under any order you're disobedient wild beast and they come to thee as the people cometh and they sit before thee as my people and they hear thy words but they will not do them for with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth afore. All right, after their covetousness. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and that can play well on the instrument, for they hear thy words, but they will not do them. They're not hearkening. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. And those are the days that are coming upon. And then there's going to come a day where the Lord. Where the Lord. Is going to shut our mouths man. 
He's going to put a muzzle on us. <laughs> he going to put us in check. He going to make it to where there's no, it's not going to be on the internet. It's not going to be on the highways. And people are going to be sick looking for the word. But you pity that charmer. Okay? You were going to be bitten by that serpent. One of the definitions when you look up the mark of the beast is the serpent's uh, bite. You know? Sirach 21 and 2 Flee from sin as from the face of the serpent. For if thou comest too near it, it will bite thee. All right, and the teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion slaying the souls of men. There is no head, verse 25 and 15, there is no head above the head of a serpent, and there is no wrath above the wrath of an enemy. Now, who is your main enemy, you Israelites? Who are you sold to? I will sell you unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. You think your enemy... After all of this in 2020 is going to come to you with something, all right, that, 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 that is profitable unto you. You're out of your damn minds. But the final scripture I'll get. Okay, a gift. Exodus 23 and 8, and thou shalt take no gift, for the gift blinded the wise and pervert the ways of the righteous. And that's what has happened unto you, Israelite leaders. And you ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Okay, I you 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 were these hardcore, no coward, black everything, black, black border of blue, black. Boots, black shades, black scarf, black man, black man. You know? The Edomite has put drugs in our neighborhood. He's done this to us. We need to not. And now, all of a sudden, we need to do what it takes to fit within the New World Order. Your ass is taking a gift, nigga. You, you took a gift. Gifts blind the eyes. A wicked man, Proverbs 20, 17 and 23, a wicked man taketh the gift out of the bosom to pervert the ways of judgment. Isaiah 5 and 23, which justify the wicked for a reward, they take away the righteous, all right, of the righteousness of the righteous from him. Wow. So with that, you know, I'm going to leave it there. Shalom.